Jerry, in the record books, it's a 2-1 win. People might think Bath City sneaked it. Not the sort, really. No, we, we, were, we were excellent today. We dominated in every department. I thought, I thought physically we were better, technically, tactically. Everything about my side today was better than Weymouth. Um, we're really disappointed because it should be three or four, if we're being totally honest. Should never get back in it at 2-1 there at the end because we dominated the game. But there you go, that's cut football for you and we're through next round. Really strong performance. We've had to make a couple of changes because obviously we've got a couple of niggles and injuries. Even in game, we've had to make some changes as well. So um, all in all, the job was to come here and just get a win. We knew we knew we were in a really good place. We knew we were confident as a group. And um, the, the training this week's been very good again. So um, yeah, really excited now to look forward to the next round on Monday, see who's who we come up against. And, um, and look forward to getting back on our league campaign as well because we're in a really good place there. You hinted at a couple of changes, one of them coming back in. You said how good Dan Hayfield has been around the group. And Fantastic. I guess it's just already, he could have scored two before and then a really powerful close range header for him. Then. Well, that's what he's got. Dan's got goals in him. Um, unfortunately, I think the, <laughs> their goals come off him as well. So, um, but no, it's a great header. I mean, it's a great move, really good cross from Rossi. Dan's really good at timing and getting there and right at the right time. So, real powerful header. There's nothing he can do about that. Our second one's a really good goal as well. Another strong header from Jordan Dyer. And Scott Wilson's in the right area at the right time for the ball to come off him and score. So, like we said, we, we were disappointed that it wasn't more than two. It should have been four at least, minimum. Maybe more, thinking about the ricochets and the bits we've had in the box. But the main aim is we're in the hat. We've, um, we've won the game. Tough place to come still. And, um, and, and we keep this fantastic run that we're ongoing. Felt like you had a lot more control on the ball. The passes were more meaningful. You find the players more. You carved away with parts, particularly out wide in the first half. Was that sort of in your mind before the game? We, we've worked on that tirelessly, Mark. We really have, honestly, because we feel like even though we've been winning games, we feel as if at times the balls get turned over a little bit too early. We want to dominate the ball if we can, but not for the sake of it. We want to be hurting teams. And as you know, our, our wide areas at the moment, whoever's playing out there, whether it's Els, Jordan, Ewan, we look so dangerous out there, but you have, to, you have to start inside to get outside, if you understand what I'm saying. It can't always be a big switch out there because teams can defend against it. So we've worked lots on trusting each other with the ball, but not playing out silly. I thought right the way through the back four were really organised. I thought Joe Reigns was the Joe Reigns that we'd seen before he'd had that horrific injury. He was absolutely outstanding today, I have to say, outstanding. But all of the boys, again, you can't, you can't get results like this in the FA Cup unless you don't turn up. We've all, as you know, we didn't come down on a coach. The boys wanted to come down and, um, and drive because they felt as if on the coach it's a horrible journey from Bath, as you know. So that was down to them. It saved the club a bit of money. But I said, if you do it, you've got, to, you've got to put in a performance. And crikey, didn't they put in a performance? It was a wonderful, wonderful team effort. All my staff were brilliant through the week again. The preparation, everything about it was wonderful because coming into it, there's a little bit of pressure because it's like a, it's a monkey on my back, isn't it? It's a little bit, we've not had a run in the FA Cup, and I understand that, and it's been my fault because we haven't. But I knew with this squad I've got here, I knew we could deliver today. I knew we were confident, not, not in a cocky way, but we were confident coming here today, we'd get a result. And I thought anyone who's watched that game, we thoroughly deserve it. It's going to be difficult to pick a player of the match. Uh, you've mentioned Joe Reigns, not the opposite for what Kieran Pass had to come back into the team in a, not an unfamiliar role. He's played there a few times before, but I thought he, he offered a lot going forward. and like all defenders as well getting so many telling blocks in yeah he's great yeah he was, he was a bit like Ryan Giggs there at the first half going down the wing um, but no he's, he, he can do that job he's played there for Newport in his younger days he's played there for Chippenham um, it was a toss of the coin if I'm being honest because obviously he's been out do we play someone a bit more attacking like Elliot because Elliot is really good in that position as well but he's having a huge contribution when he goes on as well all the boys fantastic Ben has to go on then and do a job for us because Jack's just tightened up a little bit and he's a ductor but right the way through and uh, yeah I thought, I thought it was a really, really good performance from us and we deserve it, totally deserve it. Uh, we'll enjoy this now over the weekend, we'll work hard next week, tough game away at Braintree, but um, hey, we're in a pretty good place with the top of the league and National League South, although I know Taunton have gone above us, it is what it is, we'll, we'll look forward to trying to get a result next week and, um, and like I said, it's really pleasing that Bath City are still in the hat and we've got a lovely draw to look forward to on Monday. You can have nice messages from the chairman, I would have thought, because £9,000 in prize money plus We've had 2,000-ish crowds in the FA Cup. You've not, not spent any money on travel. It's, I know some higher-up clubs think of it as little sum. It's massive for this football club. Huge, huge. And we don't hide away from that. And I, Not that the board put me under any pressure, and Paul doesn't, certainly. But I know, I know when it comes to the FA Cup, it means a lot to the club in the first couple of rounds to get some money in. That's really important. I always say it's for the football club first and foremost, not for the players. But the whole of the club, we're together. You can see we're united. The whole place is united. 
I have to say happy birthday to Paul Williams, by the way. It's his birthday today. And that was the other pressure. I spoke to him, gave him his card and his bottle of wine before the game from all the staff and the players. And um, I wanted to, for him, I wanted him to have a good day. The last thing I wanted to do was not be in the hat for him as well. He's, he does so much hard work behind the scenes. People, unseen work that people won't, won't see. But Paul Williams is Bath City through and through and he deserves a good day. And it should be special for him today, having his birthday, us getting a win. The thing he'll be disappointed is he's not on the coach with us going back now to celebrate together, but he'll have a good night tonight like we all will. And, um, and the club's got some money, rightly so, and we'll look forward to going in the next round and trying to win, because the next bit is trying to win again. But first and foremost, it's a week of training. Back to the league, back to Braintree. Tough, tough game, but we've got a group that's in a really good place, Mark. Yeah, Paul Williams had a good day, you've had a good day, we've all had a good day, so well done for the victory. Thanks, cheers, mate.